Welcome back everyone to Video Games Monthly Monday. As always, we're going to be using our highly sophisticated grading system to see just how good this month's box really is. With that being said, let's dive right in. Uh, first up, we got a cute little magnet here that I'm going to stick on the fridge and see how long it takes my wife to notice. Uh, we got some Japanese N64 games, like always. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to have more Japanese N64 than I do American. Uh, but first up, we got F1 World Grand Prix. As you may already know, I suck at racing games. Now, I've played other games like this before, but I've never experienced where you're going full speed for too long, your engine backfires. Is that normal? I don't know. If it is, then this game is way too advanced and way too realistic for me. As you can tell, I'm fantastic at this game. I'll give it a C. You know, whenever this happens, I automatically think VGM screwed up, because, you know, it couldn't possibly be my fault, right? Never. Yeah, it's always my fault. Anyway, we got another copy of Star Fox 64. Yeah, I got this game last year. I think it was like June or July or something. I don't know how I missed it because I cataloged every other game that month. I'm not a big fan of Star Fox. I have nothing against it. It's just not my thing. I'm going to give it a C. Alright, so our last Japanese N64 game, we got Custom Robo. I didn't love this game, but I didn't hate it. I don't know if there's more to it, but it's pretty much a battle arena game. I guess that's what you could call it. Even though I can't read Japanese, it does appear that you can customize your moves, which is pretty cool. I think this game would be a lot more fun with two players. I'll give it a C. Next up, oh boy, this one here. We got Jim Henson's Muppet Adventure Chaos at the Carnival. Yeah, we're going to talk about this one. This game is pretty much four mini games, as far as I know, and we're going to deep dive into each one. First up, you have River Ride, where you play as Kermit. Pretty much everything hurts you in this game. The walls, the rocks, the logs. I mean, it controls okay, I guess, but good God, the music is terrible. It just repeats over and over. Next up, we have the car course. I have no idea who I am in this game, but does it matter? But apparently you're collecting whatever the hell this is while avoiding oil spills. And you can also collect apples. Oh, they're bombs. <laughs> I know, f me, right? I always thought cartoon bombs were black, but whatever. This one controls much worse than River Ride, and the music still sucks. Next up, we got Space Ride. I'll admit, this is the best game so far. It's kind of a shittier version of Asteroids, I guess. And I'm still not sure who I am. Is that Gonzo? Maybe? I don't know. The one thing that makes this game kind of difficult is you can only shoot in eight directions. But anyway, you're flying around shooting Chips Ahoy cookies or some shit. Oh, you see that? That was health. Apparently you can shoot your own health. Oh, and I failed to mention that each game does have checkpoints, which makes it easier, I guess. Again, best game so far, but it still kind of sucks. Last up, we have the best game of the lot, which isn't saying much, Amazing Maze. Oh, hey, look, it's Fozzie Bear, a character that I can actually recognize. Like I said, it's pretty much the best game out of the four. It controls perfectly fine, but that's not saying much. You wander around this so-called maze collecting presents, bow ties, and whatever this is. That's pretty much it. You know what? I'm going to give this game a D. Sorry. So last up, I'm not gonna lie, I would have been pretty upset if I got this game in normal circumstances, but I'm gonna give it a pass. We got College Football's National Championship 2 on the Sega Genesis sealed in the box. 
So thanks to my EverDrive, I was able to check this game out. But I had to go with Penn State versus the Volunteers. I was born and raised in Pennsylvania, and I moved down to Tennessee when I was about eight years old. Aside from that, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Like I said, under normal circumstances, I'd be pretty upset if I got this game, but you know what? I don't have a sealed Genesis game in my collection, and now I do. I know it's not worth crap, but who cares? Typically, I'd probably give this game a D because I don't care about sports, but in the context of this box, I'm gonna give it an A, because I can. Once again, using my highly advanced math skills, that gives us a score of 3.2, which will round down to a C. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you again next time.